can't believe that I feel as good as I do. I have so much more energy. I have more energy than now at age 48 than I did when I was 38 for sure. I was in my late 30s. Um, I had a major surgery to treat a chronic autoimmune illness called Meniere's disease. And after that happened, I did not go back to work. I stayed home with my kids to recover and my kids were young. They were four and seven. I turned to food and I started gaining weight and get up in the morning and have, you know, a place to go. And I didn't have any kind of routine. And so there was a lot of food around and I have always been an emotional eater. So when I was bored, I would eat when I was mad or sad or happy, any emotional, you know, stressed, any emotion <laughs> on the range turned to food and I was around food all the time. I gained a lot of weight. I, like I said, I probably gained 40 pounds in 15 months and I didn't even realize that I, it might not even been, been 15 months. It might've been 12 months, but I didn't realize, you know, it wasn't, it was so gradual that one day I noticed that none of my clothes fit. It really seemed that, you know, I had to put on like real pants, not pajama pants or yoga pants or whatever, and go out to dinner. And I was so self-conscious and I had not really been that self-conscious about myself and the way I looked up until that point. And like I said, I was 38. So my hormones had started to shift, you know, into, you know, menopausal, pre-menopause or perimenopause or whatever. Menopause was on the horizon. Now <laughs> it's me and menopause together. I became very metabolically unhealthy um, and I couldn't lose weight the way I used to be able to lose weight. Um, you know, my life was a lot different to try to lose weight and I just never could because I wasn't addressing, you know, metabolic issues and I wasn't addressing my relationship with food. When, you know, I, loved ones and family members started passing away, I, you know, I've, it's been 10 years since I really gained a lot of weight and couldn't just diet and get it off, you know. Um, I tried everything, you know, I tried Weight Watchers, I don't know how many times when it was just, you know, counting um, the points. I tried different calorie restrictions like through Beachbody, you know, I did 80 Day Obsession, um, which is, you know, a workout program and coupled with some nutrition that you can do. And it was just, it's mostly plant-based and lean, you know, chicken breasts. And I was hungry all the time. And I was pushing myself physically pretty strenuously. I would wake up in the middle of the night with this terrible pain underneath my ribs and this hunger like in the middle of the night. And at that time I was about 42, I was in my early, 40s, I lost, I think I lost 10 pounds in 80 days, which basically 90 days, about three months. I tried a different plan where, you know, you drink more water and you eat more veggies for like volume eaters. But I, I did that for like six days, maybe. <laughs> My brain was just, it was just muddy. The inner dialogue that I had always had a really healthy inner dialogue, you know, kind of been quiet and silence and I was so withdrawn. And after, you know, my aunt passed away three weeks, less than three weeks later, my dad died unexpectedly. At that time I was 46 and I thought when my birthday came around, I was 47, I've got to get this managed. I have, I have to do something and oh, you know, I'll go on a diet. And I learned about intermittent fasting and that was a really good step. Intermittent fasting, and that was a really good tool. That was a really good foundational tool. And then I tried a mostly plant-based lean meat, you know, diet again. I've really been eating that way for about 15 years. My youngest daughter will be 15. And that's when I really feel like the this craze got through to me of, you know, kale and quinoa and, and leafy greens and spinach and just in seeds, chia seeds and basil seeds and pumpkin seeds. I never knew anything about any of that kind of stuff until the mid 2000s. <laughs> I wish I'd never heard of it. That's what we're told is healthy and you know, eat the rainbow and all that, um, eat low fat. So I, I thought, well, okay, this is it. I'm gonna do it. And I had done all this meal prep and you know, if you've watched my videos, 
um, you know that I have lived with chronic autoimmune illnesses for since I was 23. I'm 48, so it's been a long time, like 25 years. I have lived with some type of chronic autoimmune illness. I was so discouraged. Thank goodness. I am glad that that happened because it led me to search for answers and I found Michaela Peterson Lion Diet. And I thought, well, I'll do this for two weeks. By that time, I'd found Dr. Barry. Do this for another 30 days. I heard Nisha talking about, you know, don't overcomplicate it. Just do like beef, butter, bacon, eggs for 90 days. And so that's what I did. And I couldn't even eat that much bacon because I was reacting to so many things because I've, you know, been unhealthy for a long time. You know, my anxiety lifted. That was the first thing I noticed was my inflammation started going away. Um, I dropped weight, which was mostly just, it was just my inflammation. I could tell a difference. You really couldn't see it, the difference on the outside, but the inside, man, it was working. It was going great. And I noticed, and I noticed at eight weeks that my anxiety, that was very high. I had very high anxiety. Intrusive thoughts plagued me and I had become withdrawn and I didn't even realize it. And I just thought, oh, well, everybody is like this because it's it's just the culture, especially if you look on, um, if you're on social media, it's a, it's a theme. Middle-aged people are anxious, especially middle-aged women, I feel like. You know, it's, mine had improved like tremendously and I was getting my life back and I was getting my brain back. It didn't happen overnight. It did not happen overnight, but it happened because I continued to eat ground beef. I, I ate burger patties and ground beef and I ate steak and I had never eaten meat much. I didn't, I never made a conscientious statement to eat, you know, plant-based, but when I ate meat, it was usually lean, you know, chicken. And that was about it. Maybe sometimes hamburgers and uh, sometimes, you know, taco meat, but mostly just chicken. And I didn't eat a ton of it. You know, I just kept eating burger patties. I did that over and over and I replaced my seed oils with butter, real butter, specifically Kerrygold. Kerrygold is my favorite. But adding salt, you know, I was, all, we were always sold low sodium and my um, autoimmune issues were based in inflammation. So I had been told for many years to, that I needed to be on low sodium. I started researching and looking into these, these you know, myths. Thank goodness for Dr. Barry. Thank goodness for Kelly Hogan. Thank goodness for Dr. Avadia. All these people that talk about this is, these are myths. These, it's not true. I started adding electrolytes to my water I started to get my life back. I got to be able to think and my brain, you know, kind of blew out the cobwebs that I had had for the last 10 years. I have energy, you know, I want to be an active participant in my life now when I didn't before. I, for years, for 10 or 12 years, I was just like going through the motions and like, well, this is it. I'm just getting older and this is what, you know, life is like. And that is such a lie that we have been fed again with the puns, but we have been sold a bill of goods that, that says that that is not what people in middle age are supposed to feel like, you know, that's crazy. Don't let these people tell you, this is just what it's like. You know, when, as you get older, it's not, that's horse manure okay so this is what i'm supposed to feel like i'm supposed to be able to think and make really good decisions and not you know have these heightened emotional responses to you know people disagreeing with me and you're you're supposed to be able to think and move your body you know um and not have pain all the time so walking you know getting outside, those kinds of things. So the way I got my energy back was working on, firstly, the first and foremost and most foundational is getting my nutrition under, you know, getting my nutrition in order. And that for me is a carnivore diet. I eat, you know, beef, butter, bacon, eggs, 
I eat any kind of animal product and it works. It works for me. You can try it for yourself, but I have more energy now than I've had since I was in my early twenties. I don't ever want to sleep in. I wake up before the sunrise. I get sleepy. I do get sleepy when the sun goes down. It's like I'm a farmer now. <laughs> That's hilarious because I was raised in the suburbs. So I want to do things. I want to read and I want to think and I want to have discussions and I want to, I can just think again and I have energy. I got my life back. I got my brain back because I tried to, something that's so counterculture and it's not mainstream. And that spoke to me a little bit because I am a Gen X person. So, you know, I want to do things that are a little bit, you know, counterculture, but also want to find, you know, my people. And that's what I did. I did that too. I found my people in the proper human diet community, whether that's on this end of the spectrum or this end, who cares? We're all doing this together. And we're all doing it differently because we all have different needs. So it was really amazing that I, I, I didn't, you know, it didn't happen overnight. It happened little by little and it was gradual. And that helps me when I do something gradually, it makes it stick. So I'm able to have, you know, think and have conversations and I've got my brain back. Thank goodness. You know, my inner dialogue is, is just, it's back and. I'm back, baby. See you next time.